begin here at five with people in a Queens community feeling relief. A man accused of raping a 13 year old girl is under arrest. And tonight we're learning new details about how he was tracked down. Good Samaritans spotted him early this morning and held him until officers arrived. It happened less than three miles from the park where the assault happened. CBS 2's Jessica Moore live at the 112 Precinct Station House in Forest Hills where the suspect is being held right now. Jessica. Well, Maurice and Christine, the suspect in this case, a 25-year-old Ecuadorian migrant, was taken down by members of his own community who say they recognized him from police photos and took matters into their own hands, beating him so badly, officers had to take him to the hospital first before they brought him to the precinct to be questioned. Less than a week after the violent rape of a 13-year-old girl at Casino Park in Queens, police say they have the man responsible. Christian! Led out of the 112th precinct in Forest Hills this afternoon, headed to Queens Criminal Court. His name is Christian Giovanni Inga Landi. He is a male Hispanic, 25 years old. Investigators say last Thursday afternoon, Inga Landy used a machete to force a 13-year-old girl and her classmate, a 13-year-old boy, into a wooded area of the park. Inga Landy is accused of tying the teens up with shoelaces and sexually assaulting the girl while the boy was forced to watch. Police circulated photos and surveillance video of the suspect, and around 1 o'clock this morning, their calls for tips paid off. I come and I just, like, grab him out the store because that, that situation got me mad. Like, it got me mad. I got two little sisters. I'm about to have a daughter, you know? And it's like, I can't, I couldn't let that just walk away. And after that, I ain't gonna lie, everybody knew what's up, and everybody just started beating on him. Video shows the men who saw Inga Landy called 911 and held him until officers arrived. The perpetrator has made statements after waving Miranda rights where he indicated that he has a drug problem, that he found the knife that he used to threaten the two, the two teens, that this was the first time he had ever done anything like this. He IDs himself in video that was shown to him. Investigators say Inga Landy will be charged with rape, sex abuse, kidnapping, unlawful imprisonment, weapons charges, and others. I especially want to thank New Yorkers. There is no greater force multiplied than the eyes and ears of the engaged, fully involved public. Police praise the young victims in this case for their bravery, providing key details that help them identify the suspect, specifically their description of that distinctive tattoo on his chest. Outside the 112 Precinct, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica, thank you.